What's going on guys? Bow here back with some anime ninja. So let's get into this. We are gonna be getting into the new events. And I did miss yesterday. I did actually get everything done, I just didn't record. But uh yeah, we got the summoning event, which is gonna be pretty good if you're gonna be doing the Persian merchant. Uh we got the group buy, we got uh weapon guy, we got some other stuff that you're gonna be able to do as well. Um we got the Conan Bank. I didn't know that was still going on. I think it's for getting the rewards. Anyway, we got the new character in the Persian Merchant, which I don't have enough for. I only have 15k that I could actually spend, or that I actually want to spend. I could spend a little bit more, but 15k is my limit. So there it is. We got the new Itachi. He is going to be a support. He does look pretty sick with the Susano, although he takes up a big chunk of the screen. But uh, yeah, there he is right there. Pretty good price, 45k. I don't know how good he's going to actually be. Compared to some of the other ones, I haven't actually really looked at his skill, but uh, I'll look at it a little bit later. We also have a new pet in there. Pretty good pet is going to be less on speed, of course. Everything else is going to be higher than the magpie, but uh, magpie, I think, is at like 400k or something like that. Can't remember the exact amount, but I know you do lose quite a bit. But you gain everything else, so I don't know which one you want to go with. I'm not going to be getting any pets. I already got a ton of pets. I am going to be upgrading my S weapons for the new, uh, I guess, events that they added. I don't know what you would call it, but uh, the new daily stuff that we're going to be doing a little bit later. Actually, I think I'm going to make a separate video on it just because I'm going to show you some of the stuff you can actually do in it. Plus, it's going to be like four or five minutes and this one's probably gonna be pretty long already and then we also got the online rewards which is gonna be 30 minutes hour like the one I'm on now is four hours which is the max amount you could actually get but uh, in total it's like six or eight hours that you have to be online the first few are pretty easy but once it starts getting up to the four hour one I just recommend leaving the game running go do something come back in four hours and grab the reward but it is going to help a ton of people and they are daily as well so you can get an extra I don't know how many coupons you actually get from this event I didn't actually count I was just looking at the timer and grabbing them I know there's 50 there's some potency there's some silver there's a ton of free stuff so it's basically free stuff at this point although you do have to be online for a certain amount of time which kind of sucks and I think if the game actually refreshes it does start the timer all over so yeah I don't actually want to test my theory <laughs> maybe if I have one that's like uh, like the 30 minute hour or something like that I'll try it but uh, I'm already at the four hour one and we're already like what is it uh, is that two hours or three hours I'm down I think I'm an hour in I think that's a two but uh, yeah I don't want to test that out on this one so just watch out for that we are leveling up this real quick and with the lost artifact or lost s weapon I think that's what it is when you actually click on it you will be able to level up your s weapons once they are max level which max level before was level 10 at level 10 so or plus 10 whatever you want to call it so that does require you to have gold because the only way to level that up is with gold Unless maybe you got one out of one of the boxes, but even that requires gold. So, yeah, most people are probably not going to have them unless they do top up in a way. But uh, it will help you out if you are maxed on your S weapons. I don't know if I'm going to max. You know what? I am probably going to max one out today. It's actually a really good time to actually do it because if I do it now... From level 9 to level 10 is 5k, so that's half of the 10k that I'm going to spend in order to get the 1500 back. I'm probably going to level up another one. I think from 8 to 9 is 3500. So I'm probably going to do one of those and then the extra 1500. I might be able to level up one of the lower ones. I don't know what 7 to 8 is. Yeah, I don't know what 7 to 8 is. I might be able to do some of those. I have to buy some other stuff as well from the 
You know what? I could just spend an extra 1,500 coupons or something like that in the mall. But uh, either way, that's probably what we're going to be doing. So out of the 15k, I'm going to be spending 10k. I'm not sure if I'm going to be spending a full 10k gold, but close to it. For sure, 5 and then the other one's 3,500, so we will be spending that much. But uh, the rest, I don't know if I want to use gold to level up another S weapon or just buy some stuff out of the shop, which is probably what I'm going to do is just go buy some agility jades or. Yeah, that's probably everything in the shop. Maybe uh, some potency, because I am still leveling up Gara, of course. I do actually have to switch over the potency from Kaguya. The only reason I haven't done it yet is because I was still using Kaguya. But at this point, it's almost time to actually switch the characters around. Gara is almost at 120, so I'll be able to move the set onto him. I could probably... I'll do it a little bit later. I was going to say I'll do it in this video, but it, it would be too long because I do have to spend quite a bit of silver. Probably like 100, 200 million. Nah, probably 200 million to actually get up the rest of the levels. I think currently he's at 113 or something like that. So, no, I think he's a lot higher than that now. He might be like 115, so I would have to get him up five levels. But um, once I do that, I will be able to switch everything Kage has onto him, besides, of course, Bloodline and stuff like that. Accessories as well. I'll just switch the accessories onto my main, I guess? Because the ones that are on everybody else, I think, are a lot better than the ones I have on Kaguya. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Most likely, this is going to go on my main. We'll switch them back, of course, once I reincarnate and do all that stuff. But for now, they'll probably just go on my main. That should get us back up to our 7 point... I think we're at 7.5? So hopefully, we should be a little bit stronger than that. Not really stronger, because I haven't reincarnated. And what else haven't I done? Oh, I won't have any uh, bloodline and stuff like that on. So we should be about where we were at before or a little bit above that, considering I have leveled up some stuff. But uh, once we reincarnate and do all that stuff, hopefully we'll be closer to 8 million BP. So yeah, we're working our way there. We do still have to level up uh, the reincarnated accessories as well. So I'm going to have to do that. Eight gates, of course, we're still doing, and these things take forever to get done, so... Yeah, that kind of... kind of sucks. After you get through a couple of them, it starts costing a lot to get these things up. And what else do we have to do? I think that's it. I will be making the lost artifact, or lost S weapon, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, I will be making that video probably right after I get done with this, because there is a grid. And you do move certain spaces and stuff like that. So I'll be getting into more details on that probably in that video. So if you want to see that. In this one I am going to be leveling up the S weapon. So that way I have it ready. I'm not going to be able to level it up right away. Because it does cost quite a bit of material. And it's probably going to take a couple days to get that done. Well probably more than a couple days. A couple weeks maybe. To actually get enough to actually upgrade a level 10 to a level 11. I think you just mean need material. I'm not too sure. I'll look at it a little bit later because I haven't actually got one done but there's some of the stuff you could actually get for being online. So yeah that's pretty cool that they actually added in an online gift for people I guess to get extra stuff. I don't really know what else they would add it. And I think that's the only things that they actually added in besides the new events, of course. But yeah, I've already seen the new character in PvP. I've seen it everywhere already, so it seems to me that a lot of people are actually getting this Itachi. I don't really want to get another support. Even if I had enough, I probably wouldn't get it. I already have two supports that I just got. I don't feel like getting another one. Plus, they're always adding in supports, so there's always a better one coming sooner or later. I think there's already another support. I can't remember who we're missing out of uh, some of the new characters that are still to come. I know we're getting another Vanguard. Um, did we already get another Assaulter? Yeah, we got Gara. So, yeah, there's another support. Ah, I can't remember everybody's 
Yeah, I think there's another Vanguard and another support. I don't remember if there's anybody else coming. I don't know, but you can go look into it. Not that hard to find. Just Google it. Look on the forums and stuff like that. You'll be able to find it. But uh, Or just go look at the Chinese version. It's basically about it and see some of, some of the upcoming characters. But yeah, for the most part, we're just going to be leveling up ours. We're going to be trying to finish off... Um, first, we're going to finish off Gara. Once we finish him off, reincarnate him, we will be doing Orochimaru. I am going to have to work on him as well. Start to get that speed on him because he is a lot slower than I want him to be. But that's usually how vanguards are. I mean, he's a really good vanguard, especially his skills and stuff like that. But yeah, he's usually the last person you're going to be leveling up. Unless you don't have an assaulter and you went with vanguard instead, then level that up. But uh... Yeah, let's just continue on. We're just going to get our daily stuff done. Uh, what else do we have to do? We have a ton of stuff in our bag that we're going to be getting done as well. And we're going to level up S weapons here in a minute. Probably after we get all that stuff done. Do the S weapons last. And then, of course, we got potency. I am going to be switching the potency off. I don't know how much I have currently uh, for Gara. I know I have a ton of uh, the pills, but I don't know how much that's going to actually get us. I'm hoping to maybe get up to, I don't know, 60? I doubt I'll hit, I'll hit that. Maybe I will, I'm not too sure. I have like 200 of the purple ones. I have some red ones, of course, and some of the other ones, but we're gonna try to see how much we actually gain. I think I'm currently at like 50, or close to 50, and hopefully we'll at least get 10 plus levels on that. And then uh, I'll switch over the potency that I have on Kaguya, which should get us maybe 20? No, I don't think it'll get us 20. Maybe 10 as well, because we're already high up there. If we were a lot lower, if I did it right in the beginning, I think that would have got us up to instantly like 50 or 60. I think it was 50. Or it might have been a little bit lower than that. What is it? Was it 40? I don't remember. It wasn't that high at all, but uh, we're going to do it now just because I'm not going to be using Kaguya anymore. I mean, I could still use her every once in a while. She's just not going to have the extra stats from the potency because of course it takes all that off she will still be reincarnated but she's not gonna have the extra stats so there's that we could still use bloodline and all the other stuff on her but uh, she doesn't need the extra potency so we're just gonna throw it on to Gara get him up hopefully closer to level 100 so that way we can reincarnate him and then after we're done with him we will be moving on to Orochimaru Hopefully get him done pretty soon as well. And then after that, most likely just start saving up. Because by then, hopefully we've had another plan. Most likely the next event's going to be a plan. Yeah, because we haven't had one this month. So I'm guessing the next event, or they're going to start it at the beginning of next month. Which they might do, you never know. I don't know when they're going to throw it up. But uh, hopefully we do get one of those pretty soon so that we could start collecting our gold back. And that'll be an, another 40k gold, which I could use to buy characters or whatever I need to buy. Most likely... Uh, I don't know. Should I get another character? I don't know if I'll be able to get another character. Yeah, I will be able to get another character because I'd be... I would have 90k because I'm spending 10 now, so I'll be at 50. Plus the extra 40, so I'll be at 90. But... Uh... Yeah, we could grab another character. I don't really need pets. Uh, I do need to level up the S weapons now that they actually got those done. Although, leveling up the S weapons from 10 to 11 and stuff like that is going to take a while. So I don't have to level them up right away. I will have to do one, which I'm going to do today, of course. And get that out of the way. But I will have to start leveling up some of the other ones. Currently, I don't have that many. As you can see, there is the maze. Pretty simple. You get 30 chances to move around. And then there's certain things on the map, of course. And then uh, there is the S weapons that you could actually level up. I don't have any, of course. I will be getting one here in a minute. But uh, they're the ones that I currently have. The highest one, of course, is going to be the fan. So we're going to be doing that one, which is 5k gold. And this should get us a lot more agility. We will be putting that back. Our should I, yeah, I think I 
yeah, we can't do anything yet. So we'll put that back on. We do have to level it up as well. So that's 110 and 130. I'm lucky I had 600. But yeah, that's pretty expensive to get those those two levels on that one. And there it is, the highest level reached for just like regularly leveling up with gold. Now that they added in the lost artifact, we can actually go in there and level it up to level 11. And the weapons actually look pretty sick. So you need 100 of the lost jade. And there it is, level 11. Yeah, that thing looks pretty sick. I'm not too sure what the upgrade S weapon thing is. It's probably after you upgrade it. And of course, we barely got that event. I've only done one event. I kind of messed up on the first one as well because I didn't really know what I was doing. So that's why I didn't record yesterday. Plus I had some other stuff I was doing yesterday. But uh, yeah, they're pretty... Oh, I actually got a box on that. Nice. Yeah, they're pretty nice once you get them upgraded, and then you will be able to upgrade them more. I'm not too sure what the max level is, though. I didn't actually go look into it, so I'll probably do that after this video, see what uh, the max level is. It's either like 12 or 15. I think I've seen one at 12, so... I don't think they go to 15. I don't think they would add 5 levels. Would they? They might. I don't, I don't know. Pretty, see, pretty sure I've seen one at 12. That was on uh, the Chinese version though, so we'll see what happens. But I did get that one up to level 10. Now we just got to work on the material to actually get it up to 11. So hopefully that doesn't take too long, maybe a couple weeks, depending on how lucky I get during the event. Because you can't reset that one as of yet, or at least I can't reset it. Um, I do have to spend an extra 4k gold which uh or coupons so i could spend whatever but i do actually want to level up another s weapon so that way i am closer to another one for when i actually get this other one done i don't know how long that's going to take but a little bit of extra stats isn't going to hurt i'm probably going to go with the weapon for let me use all this stuff for uh I almost said Kaguya, Hinata. I'm going to probably level up the Chakra one on that one. I think that's the mirror, not the weapon, because the weapon's four. So I'm going to level up the mirror on Hinata, which I think is going to cost me 3500 And that should get us almost done. And yeah, that's basically about it. We're going to go use all this stuff, of course, in our bag. Uh, we do have quite a bit of jade. I'm not going to be doing it in this video because this one's already pretty long, but uh, I will fix up the jade a little bit. There are not that many that I can get done anyway. It may look like a lot of jade, but most of my jades are level 8 plus, so I need a ton of jade to get up one or two. So yeah, it's really not that much. And for some reason, it keeps not working i'm not too sure what's going on here it's just frozen maybe because of the new stuff that they added or it's just a game i have no idea why it's doing that but uh yeah i will be working on trying to get that s weapon done i don't know how long it's going to take me but yesterday i did get 13 i think of the material uh because i didn't really know what i was doing i didn't even really read it i just started clicking away on it so i kind of messed up on that one but I will uh, get into it in a video of its own. Pretty simple though, pretty easy to understand, but I will make a different one because it's probably going to be about four or five minutes and this one's already running pretty long. So hopefully I'll be able to get the 100, we'll upgrade and find out what comes after that. And we do have a ton of these boxes in here. I did spend the what is it 5k so we did get quite a few of the boxes from the summon we did get coupons back and stuff like that so that's pretty nice i don't know what i'm going to be doing with my coupons i don't know if you guys noticed i have been getting a ton of coupons i mean i do spend some here and there every once in a while during events and stuff but i do get them from the kaguya power i get them from the vip gift pack now the online one and the bean one from this event does give us some as well when that one's gone of course that's an extra 90 i won't be getting but i have been getting a ton of it and we're almost back up to 10k so 
I might end up saving for one of the characters like uh, Tentel's Obito, uh, Shu Suin, or one of the other cheap ones that you can actually get out of the Ninja Treasure. If you're wondering where I'm getting those, that's to actually finish off the Bond. It does help a little bit, but that's extra stats you're going to need sooner or later, so you might as well get it done. Plus, I'm only going to be using coupons, so it's really not that big of a deal. But I will need, I think they're like 16... I think the cheapest one in the ninja treasure, I think it's 16k. I think it might be 20. I don't remember. I haven't done the ninja treasure in so long. Actually, I've only ever done it once, and that was for uh, Obito way back when I first uh, started. So, yeah, I'm not too sure how much it actually costs now, but I'm pretty sure it's like 16 or something like that. Yeah, there's like Eight Gates Guy, um, I think I need Kushina still, there's a ton of characters I can go for. Depending on which ones you finish off, you will get some extra stats, so we do want to do that. But here is the potency, we have quite a bit, we have 70 of these, 150 of these, I thought I had 200, I had 200 of the yellow ones, so that's actually even more than the purple ones, so... This should get us up a lot, it's actually already at 100k experience from, I thought I was at 49, I'm at 48 apparently. So I'm hoping the 60, 60 something, maybe 65, 63, somewhere around there. I doubt I'm going to get that much considering once you start getting up there, you do require a lot more. And I think it froze yet again. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the game. It might just be... No, it's not my internet because I'm running perfectly fine. I think it's the game itself. I think it's actually about to crash. It might be actually Google Chrome. I don't know. There, yeah, no, it was the actual game that was about to crash. Everyone probably got DC'd. Alright, so I had to go refresh, which didn't take that long, of course. But uh, we do have to do the potency yet again. So we're going to put all this stuff in here. Like I said before, I'm hoping for about 60... 60 plus is basically what I'm hoping for. I don't know how much I'm going to actually get out of this. Plus, we're going to switch over Kaguya's right after that. And then we should be a lot closer to 100. So that way, exactly 60. I thought I was going to get like 62, 63 or something like that. But I actually got exactly 60. That's pretty good. Let's see how much I get with uh, Kaguya. And I hit 80. So we actually get 20 levels exactly. I could use the gold if I wanted to. But I don't want to spend gold on potency when I could get it pretty cheap. I haven't really been spending any. Um, well, I did buy some today, but that was just because I had to. But for like the last, uh, whenever I leveled up my main is when I stopped buying potency, basically. So I haven't really been buying it at all. And plus, I don't think it's worth it to spend the extra like 7,000 to get to 90 way too much gold to spend just to get your potency a lot closer to 100 I'll just wait out the time and get it done but I do have to level up one more of these this is gonna cost me 3500 but that's the only other one I have at level 8 I mean I have uh, some other ones but this is the one that's on Hinata that I actually wanted to get done as well so Let's see how much extra stats I actually get off of this. This costs 90 and 100. 190 for both those levels. Not too bad compared to the other one. So there it is right there. One more level to go on that and there will be max, which is 5k of course. So we're not going to be doing that anytime soon. But I just wanted to be a lot closer for when I do need it. The reason I actually spent the extra amount was to actually get back the extra coupons for spending 10k gold. Probably not worth it. But if you look at it this way, at some point I was going to have to do that one. I'm a lot closer to 10k on this one since I already spent the 5. That added an extra 3,500 plus the extra amount of coupons that I'm getting back is what I'm going to be spending in the shop anyway. Plus I need agility, so it just works all. It works out. So I'm not too worried about the extra amount I had to spend. Was going to spend that either way, so... There we go, we did get up to 10k. You do have to get up to 12k. I might be able to get up to extra 1600 because I do have to spend some other stuff, so... 
there is that. Of course, not today. I'm not going to be spending that extra 1600 today. But I will be buying some potency for probably the next two days or however long the event's going to be running. And we'll spend uh, some of the extra ones on resetting some of the stuff. And yeah, that should be some extra rewards, some uh, Fury and Jade that we could actually use. But there are my characters. Tomorrow or whenever the next video is going to be up, I will have upgraded um, Gara and done all that other stuff hopefully by then. But uh, yeah, that's going to be about it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you guys later.